Understood. I've been really stressed lately and I haven't had the chance to finish my work. Okay, I'm sorry about the delay. I'll do whatever I have to. Okay. Talk tomorrow. Got my ring, Maurice. Well, I'm glad that it happened near the house. You had the wit to come on in here. I must have been sleeping, or I would have let you in. You travelling far? Well, we, we, we don't see many people on the road after they closed the Arkham line down in 75.
sorry. Yeah, I'm on my way to Arkham. I was just doing some research out here. Well, I'm very glad you did, young madam. You don't get many fresh faces lately, and you know, you're ray of sunshine around here now. <laughs> You'd hail from Bainham, don't you? Never been there, but I can spot a town girl when I have to. We, we had one for schoolmistress back in 05. She quit suddenly and <laughs> no one's ever heard of her again. Well, I'm here because I'm trying to trace the roots of this particular family. They farmed out here at the start of the last century. I can't find anything. What do you think? That's no face. You recognize these people? Used to. Is that your baby grandfather? Maybe I have my dates wrong. This must have misstated. I have to look into it later. But anyway, where have you seen this photo before, if I may ask? My apologies, young madam. I, I can identify your face for nothing else. Okay. Well. I'd like to come back again, if that's all right. Perhaps you can talk to my professor on the phone. But, um, this has been helpful, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Hey, where'd you get that copy of Random Congo? Must be worth something, hey? The old Africa book. Right. The son of Admiral George Morant traded that with me in 98. He was killed in the war. I relish the pictures. And so, so, so he, he, he did a swap with me. And it's a strange book. I, let me get my. Spectacle. Did the war affect you personally? Well, oh, no, 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 enough of that. Where, where was I? Young. Yeah, that's young Moran. He could read a little of that Latin, but I can't. Uh, got some one or two schoolmasters to read me a little, though. Look. Can you make out what this says? No, they don't really teach it anymore, sorry. That's all right. It's strange what pictures will do to a man's mind. Yeah. Take this one here, right at the front. I love the artistry in that. Gives you kind of a tickle when you see it. Yeah, that's nice. I'll show you the best one of the lots in here. Right near the middle. Take a look at that, then. You ever seen anything like that before, have you?
I love that scene of that chap being cut up. It gives me a tickle every time I look at it. And see how the butchers cut off his feet and the other arms on the ground side of the meat block. And beyond that, there's a splendid head and arm on the wooden table. gave me this. I couldn't stop looking at it. Let me feel invincible. I even got some funny ideas in my head. For instance, I found out that slaughtering lambs for market would be kind of a lot more fun if I looked at it before I did it. Well, it was more fun. It didn't really satisfy me. This picture made me hungry for things I couldn't raise or buy. I didn't do anything. I just wondered what would happen if I did. I, it's late, I better go. I, I, I was just listening to those fellas who talked about meat and flesh and blood giving a man a new life. And I was wondering on whether it, you could live longer and longer if he didn't order the same. That so? Are you going to leave me now? I'm sorry. I broke into your home, burned your valuables, and didn't listen to them.
do whatever I have to. Please kill me. 